Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Today, we are going over to International Drive to go to Gods and Monsters, which is a comic book collector store with all kinds of stuff. Comics, superheroes, gaming, horror. And it's not very far from the major theme park. So if you're in the Orlando area, going to Disney, Universal, something like that, and you are a collector of fandom, you want to check out Gods and Monsters. Take a look. This is Gods and Monsters on International Drive, and they know how to get my attention by putting a life-size Han Solo frozen in carbonite next to Darth Vader, right in front of the window. <laughs> uh, being a Star Wars geek, uh, that immediately catches my attention and draws me into all the Star Wars stuff sitting right there. But there's a lot more than Star Wars stuff. As you notice, this is a, uh, it's a small store, but there's a ton in there. Look at all that stuff. And uh, I love this, this Hulk. So this giant Hulk is sitting here. And if you notice, you'll, you'll miss it if you don't pay attention, but there's a little Ant-Man on his shoulder. And uh, there's Spider-Man up there in the corner shooting his web. So very cool little store. But my favorite part is right here, there's Trinket, the store puppy. And look at that sweet little puppy. So sweet. Make sure that you say hi to Trinket. But back to the store. Uh, looking at the Star Wars stuff, you'll notice they've got action figures and pops and books and plushies and toys and pins and I mean all kinds of Star Wars stuff. A large Star Wars section but also in my interests a large horror section. Look at all this cool horror stuff that this store has. They've got role-playing games and action figures and plushies and cups and pins and books and little sound devices and ornaments and Halloween masks and decor. It's, uh, you know, for a comic book shop, there is a ton of horror stuff in here. And, you know, I look at horror stuff all the time and there was some stuff here actually that I had never seen before. And, um, I was, I was super impressed by this, especially now you old school, um, old school monster lovers and, uh, horror kids like me will, will get a kick out of this. And maybe you knew that this existed already, but this was the first time I had ever seen one. So I'm looking through all the horror stuff, right? And I'm coming down here and I go down and I look towards the floor and there is a limited edition Forey Ackerman statue limited to 350 pieces right there. I didn't even know that existed. So awesome. Now, this shop also has a bar. It's called Vault 5421. It's a bar that sits in back of the store. And when you go through this vault door, it is an amazing sci-fi horror wonderland. I mean, look at this. It's a very small bar as well, but the decor there's a bar down there at the end. There's all kinds of different uh, little video games. There's a little video game area that you can play games. Um, and monsters, aliens, toxic people, giant skeletons. There is detail all over this place. It is amazing. And, I mean, it's worth, it's worth going to the shop just to see the decor of the bar. It's awesome. Now... The bar hours are not the same as the store hours. So if you want to catch both of them, check out the Gods and Monsters website to verify the operating hours of, of the bar to see when it coincides with the operating hours of the store um, so that you can see both. But um, man, I love this place. I love this place right here in the back. You can get a little, little drink, um, sit down, play some video games. And then go back to your collectibles and, and fandom shopping. Very, very cool. But anyway, enough about the bar. Let's go back into the store real quick. Um, you'll notice that this store has uh, not just horror and Star Wars. There are uh, superheroes. You can see all kind of superhero stuff here. Um, anime and anime figures. And, and 
I'm showing a lot of the figures and toys and collectibles and stuff like that because that's what I'm really into. But the store does, I mean, it's a comic book store as well. So it does have comic books and manga and graphic novels and all sorts of uh, fandom reading materials as well as a, um, a good selection of gaming materials such as this right here with um you know different types of things you'll want to use for your role-playing games and things like that dice and little uh little, little figures and and things like that so um yeah gods and monsters everywhere you look there is stuff in this store it is small but definitely check out and uh and give trinket a little scratch behind the ears while you're there that is a look inside Gods and Monsters, a collectible store over on International Drive, not far from the major theme parks in Orlando. Lots and lots of cool stuff and a really sweet puppy. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.